Hey everyone, David at Finish Line Factory, and today I'm at Side Mission Garage, and I'm going to be having them install my differential. So I'm going from an open diff to a torsion diff, so I get better traction, especially when under uh, you know slippery conditions or you know heavy power output. Uh, this is something that normally I would do myself. However, I don't want to do a differential install, especially considering that this car has something called a power plant frame, which is basically a ladder frame that directly braces the transmission and the differential together. I don't want to do that in a one car garage with the door closed by myself on jack stands. I'd much rather have them do it. It's not that much money and they've got a lift and tools and everything so I just have them take care of it instead. Much easier. All right, so here we've got Paul. Paul, what are you doing? Finishing this SR. Oh yeah, we've got a little 500 horsepower build. 500 horsepower? Well, it's capable of holding. Oh, this is this is the built one that you guys were talking yeah. about. Oh shit! Full internals, everything. No, oh, that's a nice turbo right there. Look at that. Bottom mount. What is it? T three? Uh, T two manifold. That's a T two. Yeah. T two housing. Wow, that's it's a not huge. Not exactly short the size. Huh? That's yeah. a huge compressor housing for a T two. Yeah. That's interesting. And uh, let's see, we got a what is this? A competition tile. Tile wastegate there. Not bad, not bad. Make sure you get him some uh, some Finish Line Factory fittings for this thing, because oh, you already know. You know you don't want to have. Plus, well, these are just M10 uh, mm -hmm. fittings. So you get an M10 to dash four AN adapter. Same for this side, and then uh, you get some stainless steel hose with the what's it called, the heat protection hose covering that, and you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about the. Uh, the manifold melting your hoses mm -hmm. and making you overboost. It's pretty smart. And what's this is going into uh, that, this kooky over here? Yep, the one right behind me. Oh, looks just like mine. Oh, same color and everything. Well, it's actually, this one's slightly darker. Slightly darker shade. Yeah, this is what silver moss should look like. Is that right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, because my car was colored silver moss, but it was like a couple shades lighter, so whoever painted it was. Uh. This is not bad. Like the, like the turbo kit and all that? Like it's got this, uh, it's got V-bands. You know? Then it comes up here, V-band there. It's not bad for a cheap kit. So this is that power plant frame. Comes back here to the diff, and this is what's a pain in the butt to take out. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. I'll put this right here. I mean, no, no, no. Put it right here. Oh. Put it right here. Put this back together. Okay. Put them there. So I guess first thing you do is remove the exhaust. Also, you want to do it with a half-inch uh, impact gun at all times. Of course, of course. Right? Yeah, of course. Half-inch impact for V-bands all day. Because... Chances are you're gonna break it anyway. You gonna get Mjolnir? Yeah. Me, me need Mjolnir. I got a three pound hammer at home. I got a five pound one here, but I can't, I can't fit it in this hole. It's kinda of stuck on there, isn't it? When they're stuck for the best. B bands, they said. It'll be easy, they said. There you go. There's one. This one must have been over tightened then. No, it could be that, or it could be just like the rust, the carbon that's fucking holding it all together. Yeah, it could be that. Could be that. Maybe next, maybe this time I'll put um, what's it called? Some anti seize. Slip, slip joints. Oh yeah, slip joints. No, they, no flanges, no gaskets. Just slip joints. Yeah. Slip joint and a spring, baby. I like I like slip joints. Motorcycle style. There you go. There you got it. There you go. Gotta finagle it out. So some people might have to remove this bar. Oh I no, guess. no no no, we're, we're taking that all off. Oh, you still have to take it out anyway. Yeah. All right, well, take it out. There you go. So now you get to take out the drive shaft. Lock I'll put these over here. Ah. Wait. These 
bolts have seen some use. You think you should run down to the store and get new bolts? Nope. Besides that, you don't want Home Depot in your car, though. Yeah. Like, remember your, remember your KA with all those Home Depot valve cover bolts, bro? Like, terrible. Terrible! Yeah. Terrible. Well, these, are, these are just plain bolts, though. So, yeah, but I mean, if you're trying to do it all new from scratch, bro, you 10 point nine grade bolts, the zinc plated stuff, bro. Get the good stuff, or just get all your bolts replated. There you go. Which is no, I probably just get some brand new ten point nine grade stainless steel bolts or something. Mm -mm. You don't want them to, you want them to be eight eights. You don't want ten nines on this shit. You want eight eight. How come? Stretch. Oh, okay. Or um, what's it called um, impact fucking resistance or whatever. Right. You don't want them to snap. You want them to bend, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so when you when you hit it hard, it'll... Brittle. It'll be less brittle, yeah. It'll be more brittle. The harder the thing, the more brittle. One... No. Ah. 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 Oh, it's welded together. Fancy. Oh, cool. Ah. It's all one piece. Lifty. That's a thing for reasons. It's a nice brace. A thing for reasons. Right? Yeah. It's a good way to describe stuff. Stuff that does things for reasons of yeah. other things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. You know, because there's no other possible place for them to run a harness except down the power plant frame. Of course. You know, they couldn't like go up and over on the car. They couldn't, you know. Well, they want to keep it all one piece. Something, you know? something a normal, you know, human beings would do. Well, I guess they wanted to keep it all one piece as they're mating the, so. the drivetrain to the frame. It's all together already. Yeah, I think you should, you should just be able to take these two bolts out, like just loosen them a little bit, tap them up with a hammer to engage something up there, and then you should be able to just uh, loosen the bolts from there. Hopefully. Happens to be loose enough by hand to get this little some bit. These okay. Are, these are what lock the uh, the diff in from the top. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, they go here. <laughs> Weird. Oh. They're both the same, so. Okay. Cool. Doesn't matter front seat, back seat. Only thing that matters is which which bolt you put in the right hole. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you just kind of loosen that up. No, this one is always fucking terrible to get out. But it has these little spots to put pry bars in right here. I see. Right here, right here. So. It's almost out. At that point, yeah, you power think, plant frame is, is I out think of you're good. Dip. Set this aside. Yeah, it is. That that holds it all together. <laughs> so I can, I now have to get up into the car to get the wheel key off. Got a ladder? All right. Want to hold the camera? I don't want to get all dirty. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's only David. So, yeah. yeah, it's just me. <laughs> this thing mic'd up, lit, lit up, mic'd up, all kinds of stuff up, huh? Yeah. All right. Luckily, the top is open. Yeah, it's not like it's going to be like this. So just uh, be very careful. I don't want to damage the key. Yeah. It says don't impact them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. It should be a 21. Why are they so heavy? Uh, 
because this is a, a heavyweight, this is a heavyweight vehicle. It has to be heavy. Hey, that wasn't so bad. So hopefully these won't be stuck in there and I'll be able to take the, uh, we'll be able to take the axle out without too much issue. Okay. Got lucky so far. So far so good. On this side. Come on, That's hit it harder. Fucking sound. Hit it harder, hit it harder. All right, so we got the air. If this doesn't come out though, we're gonna stop. Oh shit. Well, hopefully it comes I, out. I told you, they freeze into the two hubs, bro. Air hammer. <laughs> Really in there, isn't it? Yeah. Want to hit it with some PB blaster? Like a fucking fox and shit. I'm pretty sure. Okay. That axle ain't coming out. No, I'll do that one because I can't take the axle out. Right. Oh, well, I guess. We're gonna do that. Oh, I was doing it so we, we can pop the axle out of here, and then you just move it out the way with it. There you go. You Diff is out. What do you mean to do? Tap, tap. Where? Oh. On the, on the housing, on the, on the back. There you go. Uh, there's actually something I should have waited on, but uh, it's too late now. Hell, it's too late now, my boy. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, you see, so um, the differential has a part on it that's supposed to, this carrier has a part that's supposed to break. You see how there's a, a brace there? But not on the other side. No, this this case snaps off right here. The ears snap off. The yeah, they're designed to break. If you get into an accident, you know, it doesn't. Or you have too much power. Yeah, or you have too much power, it'll or just too much grip. or too much grip. They just break. Um, yeah, I'm not running that much power, so it shouldn't be a problem. But they build re they have reinforcement kits that you weld on. But uh, it's silly for that now, so you know whatever. Here we've got SD expertly laying down a perfect bead of silicone. That's my first one? That's that's actually, I'm impressed. That's actually really good. I know that's really good. You know why? Because you did it. Because I did it. Did you give it like 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes? Yeah, because you're making a gasket. You, you don't just stick them together. You're supposed to let it get a little tacky first and then you stick them together. That actually came out really good. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking a break. That's the area. Got some nuggets. Cheers. Nope. No. No. Nope. nope. <laughs> Don't touch my nuggets with your nuggets. All right.
So all that's left now is just a fill it with some fluid. All right. So that while Paul's putting the uh, putting the wheels back on, that's how you do the uh, the diff install. So tomorrow I'm going to post another video, uh, some driving impressions for uh, the new Torsen diff, see how it feels versus the open diff. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.